Israel's highly popular television export, Fauda, focuses on undercover soldiers called Mista Aravim, a word that literally means to become Arab. But it's not just drama. It's a reality whose real story can barely be told. They did crazy things, things that we cannot even uh, imagine, okay? They cannot uh, take an interview, they cannot uh, uh, discover their face, but this wall is their legacy, okay? And this was the most important thing in Fauda base, to say there is a reality behind the serious Fauda. The wall is a glimpse at the lives of Israelis who became Arabs to conduct dangerous long-term missions in Gaza and the West Bank, gathering intelligence, abducting and eliminating high-priority targets. I can't tell you how many Israelis owe their lives to this unit. And this is what they do. They are doing special operations in uh, Judea and Samaria. Individual Mr. Aravim have been a critical part of Israel's special operations units since well before the foundation of the state. But it was not until many decades later that the IDF founded dedicated undercover units like Yamas or Duvdavan. The Duvdavan unit was established in uh, 1986 during the first intifada, okay? Uh, when Ehud Barak said, it's written here on our wall, I want people to walk uh, like they walk in Dizengoff Street. I want them to walk uh, in Gaza, in Gaza or in uh, Jericho, in the occupied territories, and to do missions uh, like a snake. But to former instructors in these units, the best way to tell a story is not through history lessons or TV series. It's to take outsiders for a day in the life of Mr. Arev. And so some of them founded Fauda Base to do exactly that. The crash course includes close quarters combat, disguise, and even learning Arab cuisine, because even the smallest slip can blow an agent's cover. In tricks, you will make a war. You come undercover, okay, with some story, and you do the job, and you come back very fast. A real Mr. Arev goes through at least a year and a half of special training that covers everything up to improvisation because the agent never knows what might surprise him. One of the fundamental skills taught here is marksmanship because any soldier, undercover or not, does need to learn their way around a gun. But many people say it's not the fundamental skill. And that's because ultimately, if you're shooting in one of these units, it means the mission is already failed, surprise or not. We say that the real weapon of Mr. Arev is his personality, okay? Is his language, is his uh, acting skills, okay? If the Mr. Rev need to shoot, in most of the cases, not in everyone, okay? It means that the operation failed. The guns here at Fauda Base may be fake, but the implications are deadly serious. Every day, Israeli citizens must become indistinguishable from terrorists, deep in enemy territory, so their friends and families can sleep safe at night.